I'm here. <laughs> I've had a hell of a job trying to set this camera up because the battery's dying on my phone. I thought I had it plugged in, but I didn't have the plug switched on. So battery's low on my phone. So I'm using my phone again and um, there's wires precariously put in places. Um, I've got to make sure I've got plenty to drink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of these for somebody. Uh, it's pretty plain, simple. I'm going to do that. Um, again, I'm going to do it on a, a, but I'm doing it on an age five to six t-shirt. So there we go. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm also going to be uh, framing some artwork. And I've got this out so I can get the colour references right because when it comes up on screen, it comes up as a mish, mishmash of lots of different colours. Okay. Um, right, let me get, let me just get this on as well. Um, there we go. Let's turn that down. Ugh. Right, okay. Right. So, I need to get that on the USB. I'm going to get my USB. Take a minute. And then... My design gone. Oh. Right, hang on. Open. Hi, Richie. Hello. Hi. If you just joined, hello. Um, hi, Hina. I'm going to do this design here. Uh, I stitched this out a long time ago, and obviously, I kept the shirt for reference so I can remember all the colours um, and then I'm going to put it onto a um, age five to six which I've got over there I'm just gonna I don't know what's happening here it's not downloading onto the thing let me just check a minute hang on right I've got my hoop sizes right so that's okay um, is it from Creative Fabrica no that one's not from Creative Fabrica uh, that one is off of Etsy. If you look up, I'll, I'll try and get the description for it again and put it in this video. But if you look up a uh, lorry design, embroidery designs, you should find it. Um, it takes quite a while to stitch out because there's a lot of stitching in there. And it's quite a solid piece as well. Actually, that would make a lovely big patch. But it would take a bit too long. Um, right, let me get this on a minute. Um, not very organised. Uh, why isn't it showing? It was here a minute ago and now it's not showing on the screen. What's that's funny? Ugh, what have I done? What have I done? Let me go back. Lives. The good thing about not doing lives is you can edit all this stuff that doesn't go to plan out. Let's try that. It's a bigger size though. Right. Okay, I don't know what I did. Right, okay. So I'm going to shrink this a tiny bit because I'm going to put a name in there. Um, Kim, what is Creative Fabrica? I've looked on the website but I don't understand it. Right, Creative Fabrica, Richie, is um, it's basically a site where you can purchase thousands of diff different designs you can purchase them separately uh, and then you've got them forever okay or you can purchase them as a whole you can have like a subscription to the whole pack everything on there um, I've got a link in my videos should be in this one as well 30% discount um, there is a thing coming up which I've got to find out about another special special offer as well something to do with Christmas okay um, but yeah so basically you can use their designs and um, make things with them use them for sublimation you've got you know if you want to do cups and stuff like that there's lots of different designs you can put onto cups and things like that you can use it for everything it's just so much um t-shirt printing it's just where you can pick a load of designs a load of fonts as well um things like that uh right yeah patch would be good too yes right i'm gonna put the name on which I'd all, I've already done 
Um, I was going to work outside today doing some art, but it's not that great out there. It's a bit overcast, so... Uh, right, where am I? Get the design for the name, which is... Right. Bear with me. Bear with me. Should be here somewhere. Ethan, where are you? I did the name in, in Brilliance, okay, if you're wondering. And then I transfer it over. I save it. It's not finding it. Oh, I need to go back. Hang on. Save pictures. Brilliance. Okay. I think, Kim, what is Creative Fabric? I've looked on the website. Oh, I've already answered that. <laughs> I'm rereading stuff. Here we go, there it is. That's the name there. Yeah, right. I think I might shrink that a little bit. Okay. I'm going to change the colour, the lorry to a red lorry, as is the picture, but there we go. So I've just got all the design up. I'm just going to pop that now onto my USB. Send. Okay, right, so that's on. That's on there. I'll put that into my machine. Um, I'm going to... I'm actually going to use... Yeah, hang on. Right, let's, let me just put this in the machine. I'm just going to get some bits and pieces together. Where did I put that? I'm just going to try and find my... Um, where have I put it? My baby. Not my baby, my... My hooping. My hoop master. Plugs, everything's all plugged in at the minute, so I've got to be do it around like that. You can see a bit more there, can't you? You can see a bit. Frank, hi. Hello, very nice lady. Please kindly film when you get a chance how to thread and operate your regular sewing machine, please. Okay. Please kindly reply back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course I will. Okay, Frank. Yes, I will do that. Um, my regular sewing machine is pretty simple, um, pretty simple to thread. When, once this is on, I might show you then if you like, or I could just do a video. What do you prefer? I can show you in a minute, which you can go back and have a look at, or do a video. What do you think? Uh, right, now then. Okay, so I've got my t-shirt here. I'm going to use some cutaway. All right, just make sure I've got the right size. Yes. And I want some cutaway on there. Um, let's have a look what we got here. There we go. And this one. So I'm just trying to find some cutaway. Some cutaway that I want to use. Yeah, I'll use that one. know so much about using this one here though because it's a bit um it's hard to explain it's quite a thick one this i don't want anything too too thick i don't think because um it might get too bulky uh right tear away tear away i know it's here somewhere cut away i'll be with you in a minute sorry um Right, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... Wherever it is. <laughs> Can I find anything that we want to... Oh, here it is. Right. I'm going to use some of this, which I've already pre-cut. And this is a cutaway as well. It's a fusible cutaway. Right. Uh, Frank. 
jump. Does your regular sewing machine have a start and stop button? It does, yes. Yes, it does. Uh, I never really use it though because I like to stop when I want to stop. So I've never really had the chance to... Haven't, I haven't used the opportunity to use it. So, right, I'm going to pop it's my mighty hoop there. You can... You know where to buy these from, don't you? If you want to buy anything like this, it's from ETC Supplies. You can get them other places, but I recommend ETC. Um, right, okay, so. Make sure it's the right way up. So you want the fusible side up so we can fuse it to our shirt. These little magnets on here. Can you see enough? I'm just going to slide that under there slightly. Bring it over a bit. You don't have to use one of these things. I'm just using it to use it, show you. When you, oh no, I've seen that one. Oh, you've already asked that. Right, okay. Very nice thing. When you sew machine, please kindly demonstrate how to use the start stop button and also how to operate the sewing machine electric foot pedal. <laughs> yes, okay. We'll do. I will do that. Right, you don't really need to use these things for this, but I'm just using it for. Just using it. We'll see how it hands out no way there. okay so my design is going to come about there hopefully yeah that should be fine I don't want it too what do you reckon what do you think it's heavy that Oh my god, that sounds amazing, Kim. I might sign up for that. Well, if you do sign up for it, it will cost you. Um, I'm just wondering if that's going to be too high up now. Shouldn't be. That should be all right. Let's have a look at the other one. Um, it should cost you about 14 quid if you have the monthly subscription. That's about right. Yeah. Isn't it there? We've got the name to go in. Yeah, right, okay. That. Looks relatively central to me. Okay, we'll pop that on the machine. So Frank, do you do a lot of sewing, do you? Let's uh, turn this around a minute. And that side. Uh, how much can you see? Now then, I'm going to change the bobbin, simply because I don't really want to have to change the bobbin halfway through this design. So it's quite a large design anyway, quite a, you know, there's a lot of stitches in it. So I will, um, hopefully won't run out of bobbin thread if I change it now. Okay. Right, okay. I will move the camera around in a minute. I'm just, I've got to be careful of the plug. I've got everything plugged in at the minute, so everything's all over the shop. Yeah. All right. Let's find our design. How, can you, how much can you see? Not a lot. Not a great deal. <laughs> can you see much there? Let me see a bit. Can you see my reflection? There we go. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Need a drink. Mm. 
I thought I'd just film this, do a live, save me having to film and edit and everything. Um, I don't know what people would prefer, whether you prefer, you know, proper videos or lives. Lives tend to get a bit, I don't know, sometimes they can go on for quite a bit, can't they? But I want to make sure that I have got it in the right place. I don't want to be... I might have to shrink it so what I'm gonna do I'll do that let's do a scoot around a minute that's all right no it's not no it's not I have to shrink it for a bit I think I'm gonna shrink it I uh, don't always like shrinking it on the machine but if it, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I always have to do it again, so let's let's shrink it. That's as much as I can shrink it, okay? And I want to bring it down a bit as well, because it's hitting the collar. Maybe I need to move the shirt. That would probably be better. Uh, let's see about that. Right, I'm going to try one more time. If it's no good, then I am going to change the shirt where it is on the hoop. I'm going to quickly rehoop this. It's not going to take me a minute. I'm going to do it with this this time. Okay, right, turn the camera around again. <sighs> right. You see much? Frank, she has a multi needle, a domestic machine, and an overlocker. Don't have the overlocker anymore, Richie. I got rid of it. I couldn't be bothered with it. I just threw my head in. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have an overlocker anymore. I sold it. Someone came and bought it. Um, don't need it. Oh, like I said, I'm trying to peter out with everything anyway. Try and get rid of some stuff. Uh, and concentrate a lot more on my like embroidery and my art rather than all the <laughs> sewing side of things. Right. And bring it down a bit. Okay. Oh, do you not? Hey. Oh, well, it's after an overlocker as well. Well, it probably would have cost more to post it to you, Richie, than it would. You could just go out and buy one from. They sell them in Aldi. Although, well, probably be better off with a brother or something like that. Anyway. Okay, it's not the same as the birthday shirts, this thing. The birthday shirts, usually you're hooping them so they're up here more, whereas this design is quite a big design, so. Right, okay, let's put it back on the machine. Turn the camera around again. I'll try to. I haven't shrunk it a great deal, so uh, should be alright. Let's. Right. Something's catching. Something doesn't feel right. Right, Did you hear that? Goodness me. I left the um the, the hooping stuff on, the hoop thing on. <laughs> oh well, it's gonna be one of those days I think. Right. It's so big this design, I don't know, it's just oh it'll, it'll be fine. Right. Okay, now I'm going to which can you see? Not a lot. Change all the colouring. 
You can't see a lot, I'm afraid. Uh, right. I'm going to change the colouring. I'm going to get my other shirt. This is the only bit I don't like because I can never, I can never store the colours so it stays as it should. Right now then, I've got some of that colour on there. I've got some white. Haven't got any red thread on there. I've got the black. Um, that's all we need really. A little bit of yellow there. We have got yellow. Okay, so I'm going to put my red thread on. I'm going to use that one and that one. Um, should we use that one because it's more looks more red. Right. Let me read some of your messages a minute. Um, there are none. Right. Okay. Right. I'm going to just unsnap, snap that one off. Don't need that. Pop that on there. This is how I re-thread. I try to anyway. Try to. And I know I'm not tying it right. I know I should be tying it differently, but I'll tie it about three or four times so that hopefully it won't come undone when I'm pulling it through. Okay, right. So pull that. Right, there's number two. So go grab it underneath here. And pull. You can't see a lot, sorry. I'm just re-threading it. Okay. Alright, scissors. Right, um re thread. So we're gonna number two. Okay, get my just gonna get my thread for a minute. Hopefully everything's to hand, so It's not always easy to do this when you wear glasses because I've got verifocals on and I have to position my eyes oddly. Okay, right. So that's threaded. So we've got all the colours we need on the machine. Um, yeah, okay. All right, so hopefully, let's have a look. Number one, we want in black. No, hang on. The earth, isn't it? This is the boring bit. So, you want to go and find yourself a cup, go and go make yourself a cup of tea or something. <laughs> so, white, black, uh, white, um, it's black. No, it's not. Oh, I haven't changed my colouring for that either. So it's blue at the minute. We'll change that in a minute. Um, that's white. And that is yellow. Is that white? Yeah. And those lights there are... Yellow. Black. All right. That's okay. Only the lorry's looking blue at the minute, but that's because I haven't changed my thread colours over. So I'm going to do that now. Um, go to that one and two reset red set. Okay, okay. Right. Let's just check that a minute. Two. There we go. All done. Right. It's done. I know you can't see much, but right. Uh, I think we're about to. Oh, hang on. I've got to do the name as well, haven't we? Uh, let's go back. Right, the name I think I'll do in that light blue there. What, would, what do you think? Or should I do it in red? I'll do it in red actually. Yeah, right, okay. Right. What's it looking like there? See okay. Embroidery. We've got everything we need all hooped up, so it should go okay. We hope. Let's see.
We're about to have problems because this is a mini. It takes quite a while. Okay. Is it um, too loud? Or should I put my earpods in? Can you, can you let me know? There we go. Right, I'll put my earpods in. Okay. There. Is that better? Right, while that is... Uh, I'm just going to tidy this desk for a minute and then I'm going to bring you back over to the desk. Um, I'm going to be framing up some art... What are you doing? I thought I'd go live early and then uh, rather than later and catch a few different people, maybe. Mm. Uh, BRB, just need to call. Okay. Mm. Put that down there. Right. I'll bring you over in a minute and you can sit at the desk with me. How much battery I've got on this phone? I could bring you over and take you take the phone off the charge, and then it'll be easier. I can't know what to do. I'll be with you in a minute. Right, I hope that is going to be okay. I hope we're not going to have any problems. But I'm going to bring you over here. Uh, let's turn the camera around. Let's just... Okay. Ah! Help. That hurt. Uh, <laughs> I've got to get some plugs sorted out in here because I think it's just it's not good at the moment it's uh, plugged in absolutely everywhere it's got wires going everywhere that really hurt oh, god the phone flipped out and went onto my made my vein come up lovely right um 
how much you can see. I'm going to uh, frame some of this up. I've got to, I've got to do it all before the weekend. So it's just another one of my million jobs I've got to do. I've had these made here, these frames here. It's just wooden glass frames, okay? So some of those made. Let me sort out. What? And I've got a few of these to frame. I want to frame. These are some prints here. They're just prints. So I'm going to frame a couple of those. And then I've got these originals here that I've got to frame. So I've got that one there, which I've had made into a load of cards. Same as that one there. And then we've got these trees here. And this is half frame that one um if you have if you weren't watching last night i made a load of cards up i have a load of cards printed so there's the cards to that print it turned out quite nice actually quite nice one there we go yeah color's good the color's spot on that's what i like about my my printers my local printers they're really uh they're good quality. Right, um, right, let's uh, get on with this. So I'm going to find some... I've got a mixture of different coloured... Um, what do you call them? My mind's gone blank again now. Different coloured mounts. I've got some white ones there, I need those. Everything. Just get some organisation going in a minute. Right, that's the backing boards. I'll pop those there. I always like to use two mounts, a cream and white, off-white to go over the top, breaks it up a bit. Backing boards. Right, okay. Let me have... Mm. Right, I'll try and sort this camera out, whether or not I... I am going to unplug the power. I'll bring you over a bit more. There, that's a bit better. Hopefully the battery will last. We'll see. Uh, okay, 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 okay. My knife. <laughs> you have to be really careful with these. They've cut the board slightly smaller this time. They were a bit tight last time and I had problems getting them back in again and I ended up breaking one of the glass panels. Um, and I also need a bit of a cloth just just to wipe the glass in case. Oh, that would do. Give a piece of that. And you see my bag that I bought from Lauren Mormino. I did a, you've probably already seen it. I did a live last night, unboxing it. I'm going to try and wipe the glass out just in case there's any bits of dust in there. Okay. I'm going to pop that one in there. And it's already done. This is the fiddly bit. Yeah, that might be okay. I've used a backing board for that as well. Didn't really have to, but it's going in a frame, so. Right. 
Oh, look at that. See, look. If you can see, there's a little bit of a... Uh, so that means I should have checked it before I started playing with the tabs. So now I've got to un... I hate, I hate it when that happens. It's really annoying. It's not easy to keep pulling it in and out all the time. That's how I ended up breaking a piece of glass the last time. Right. Nothing on there. It's just ridiculous. It's so hard to get the dust particles off. Right, it's uh, second time lucky. I don't want no three time lucky. We'll have a look at that uh, lorry design in a minute, see how it's getting on. I'll take my time, don't get stressed out. <laughs> Check in it a minute. Okay. Check it again. Right, that's all right that time now. There we go. the wrong time of day really isn't it to be doing a live because i suppose the people in the u.s are asleep in bed people in australia are probably just going to bed so yeah right so i have framed that up i'm gonna put some d-rings on it so i'm gonna go and get my d-rings in a minute They usually mark on the frame where to put your screws. So. Not the easiest of things to do. Now well, that's getting on. Let's hope we've got all the colour threads right. The threads, thread colours. Okay. I'm just going to put it on my lap a minute. It might be a bit easier to do it that way. Got a couple of orders to wrap up as well. Uh, and hopefully I'll get them all done before the post office before four o'clock. So that's when we have our last collection. And then I can get them all sent off. And then it's done for the weekend then. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I'm definitely going to be videoing it. And hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy it. I'm going to be going away to um, a gallery. I'm doing a whole window display up. 
with the help of the lady that runs the shop. So, should be something different. that. Now I need my thread. The sun's shining now so I might be able to get outside. I've got to do some resin in which I am going to be doing because it's the I'm going to be using um, the UV resin for the little hearts that I'm making and they can be dried out in the sun which I much prefer. I have got a UV lamp, but the trouble is with UV lamps and indoors with all that resin, it stinks. And I don't like it. It's not good for you. Um, so hopefully if the sun keeps coming out like it is at the minute, I'll be able to go outside and do it. And they can dry in the sun. They don't take very long at all when it's a nice sunny day. Uh, right. There is a way to do this. Hi, Rena. Somebody else has joined us. Hello. How are you? And Rena, Rena, please rectify me if I'm wrong. Are you in Australia? I hope I'm. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I don't know if that rings. It rings a bell, Russell. Are you in Australia? Oh, Holland. Sorry. I, I know now. I remember now. I apologise. <laughs> what time is it over there? Is it, you, you're not that far behind us or ahead of us, are you? A couple of hours or an hour or something like that. At the moment, it is... What time is it here? It's 12.28 uh, p.m. So lunchtime. 1.28. There you go. You're an hour ahead of us. Yeah, I thought as much. Not that far. Hello. What are you up to? What are you doing? What are you doing? Besides from watching me. <laughs> it's a, a bit of a... Like, it's not very much to be looking at, really. I'm doing a shirt at the minute. I'm doing one of these. Where are you? Where's my... I think I'll put that on. Oh, it's over there. I didn't get it. Um, hmm, I'm just looking at this design. I don't know. Well, I don't know if it's right or not. Hopefully it's okay. It hasn't finished stitching yet, so. There we go. I'm doing this, this one I did months ago. So um, now stitching it out now. It's for a little boy um, who's uh, going into hospital for six months. I don't know them personally, but the lady asked me to do one of these with his name on. So hopefully it should all turn out right. It's, I'm looking at it at the minute and it doesn't look right. I'll show you quickly because it hasn't done the white thread yet. I'll show you. Bring it over. Um, so it's still got to do the white on there mm, well, it's got loads more to do it takes a long time doesn't it you, for however long it's been going it <laughs> which is seems ages you know why I feel like it's taking ages it's because we usually do appliques don't we for baby shirts and stuff like that um, for kids shirts birthday shirts and they don't take long to you really you're only doing like an outline aren't you whereas this is a proper full um you know it's all embroidery so it takes a little while uh very nice a dream shirt for a boy yeah yes now then what was i doing 
Sorry for that all. I've got stuff to go on the back, sign them and everything, and put a little uh, card on the back, but I should do that after. I'll just get some of these done. I'm going to frame that one next. So I want to try and find... Is that a big one? Right, so I want to find a nice colour to go with this. It's going to have... So purple looks all right. That blue looks quite nice, but I quite like that blue for my trees. Um, that looks quite nice. Oh, I like that. Actually, I've got one over there, very similar to this in the blue already. So maybe I'll do a different one. So we'll look. We've got a nice pinky colour here. What about that? I don't know. Quite, no, I don't know. I don't like that actually. The blue. blue. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, the colours we got here. The light blue, We've got that dark blue. Mm. Any ideas, any suggestions? Oh, actually, there's a green. Is there a green one? There's a light green. Gotta try these things to try different things. That looks quite nice actually. What do you reckon? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Help. 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 Um... I want to save the blue one actually for the fish. Mm. Yeah. We'll go back to that other one. Let's do this one first. Yeah, I like that with that. So I'm going to use that for that. So we'll do that one next. So what I do is put these neatly somewhere. Okay. What I do is this. Put some space. Like Well, that's together now. Hi, Wana. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I am just uh, 
doing bits and bobs. I've got a shirt over there doing um, a okay, lorry design, a really detailed one as well. It's quite, it's all fab, it's all uh, thread, no, um, no applique. Hi, Sonia. No, Irina, sorry, I was looking there, I can't see properly. Hi, Irina. Um, so I'm doing that at the minute. That's, I did that sample ages ago, months ago. So the, the other one's on the thing. And I'm also doing some framing. Um, so I want to frame these pieces of art up. I've had them all, I've had these printed into cards. I've got a card of this one. So I've got all these cards there. I've had those done. Um, I pa packaged all these last night. So there's my cards. I'm selling these in the shops around Cornwall. And I'll try and remember to put some on my website as well. Um, and I've done, this is a, this one here is this design here. Uh, they make quite good cards. I'm quite pleased with these. I've got loads of them. They're all down there in the box. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, what I'm going to do, I am going to frame this up next. Because these are going into a gallery tomorrow. And hopefully, let's sell some. I think I might put my prices a bit too low, though, to be honest with you. For originals. Uh, where's my Stanley knife? My crafting knife. There's one. Um, the four cats are so cute. Yes, thank you. Yeah, where are they? Not there. Trying to find my cat one. Where are they? Oh, he's gone. Oh, there they are. There's the cat ones there. And these are embroidery. This I did this as an embroidery. And then I had it put onto cards. So you can see there, there's like an applique one there, look. And I digitised it all myself as well. I was quite pleased with myself. It takes a long time digitising, so I haven't, got, I haven't got the time for it. And I'm going to cut the rem the remnants of this off. So it fits in the frame. Go. I'll do that. Another frame. The sun is starting to come out. I'm really pleased with that. I can get on and do these resin hearts next then I can get them to dry in the garden easy so. right that's dusty as well so dusty make sure there's no bits on it because it shows once you put this in it'll show I'm hoping that's going to go in okay because it looks a bit. Actually, I need to attach the painting to the thing. I'm going to take a little bit off this edge because I don't want it. I don't like it like that. It looks a bit. Because this is handmade paper that I've painted on here. This one is anyway. It's like got the rough edge. Really thick handmade paper. So, it'll be right. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift 
Shall I touch it like that or not? Mm. No. Yeah. There's different ways of doing this. I'll just use my fabric scissors. <laughs> It shouldn't drop anyway because the picture's the same as the. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. Make sure my signature can still be seen. Let's see dust on that again. Nightmare trying to get all the dust out. And this seems a bit tight. going to take a while for that to do over there. I'll go and show you again in a minute. Such a, uh, a lot of stitches in that design. But I put it on my Etsy shop because, you know, I thought people might like them. And actually, that is the first lorry one I've sold. Um, I did sell a few of the Spitfires. They seem popular. Well, not really popular, but I've sold a few of those. Right, here we go. Done. Something looks a bit... Hmm. I don't know if it's... The mount. Does that look all right? It's not perfect. Please, oh, there's. Oh. Now I can see another little dot. Can you see it? There. And the mount looks a little bit skewer underneath. It doesn't look level, so that's going to come back out again. This is a lot harder, you know, than I thought. I, know, I didn't really do watercolours to sell. Um, I used to always do resin work and uh, acrylic and just cover it in a resin. Um, but messing about with glass and stuff like that, I would never post this stuff off because I wouldn't risk the glass breaking. But um, it's, it's more fiddly than you think. The mount looks a bit, it looks square. Let's try again. Uh, right, that looks all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set that. That's better with that. Uh, and then the artwork needs to come up a little bit. Mm. I'm going to stick some of this on that as well. Mm 
right, just have to go there. That's better. Hmm. I don't know where this stuff comes from. Every time I look, there's a bit of fluff in there. Dust off the paper and everything. What's everyone else doing? Are you doing much? I bet you I'm going to have to take this out again. No, 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 good, right, right. We can put the backing board back on now. <laughs> I hope, hope that we don't have any more. Hi, Karen, Karen's with us. Editing videos for YouTube, it's tiring stuff. Yes, it is. It takes for edges, for edges, it takes forever, it takes ages. Um, Karen has a YouTube channel, she's new. Um, it's actually called Karen, Karen Brazil, Karen with two R's. She's in Australia. Um, and yeah, it does take a while. I haven't done any editing for a little while now. So I'm gonna have to get onto it because I've got so many different bits of, of footage that I need to put into a video and then delete off my phone. So I video a lot of stuff on my phone. I should use my camera, but I don't. Um, I'm lazy where that's concerned. There we go. <clears throat> that's that one done now. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. You can't see it, it's got glitter. It's got a bit of glitter in it as well. Um, telling me it does, got, got lots of stuff coming up. That's good. Good, Karen, because you, your, your videos look good anyway, so. You look in, you're very interesting to watch. So I like, you know, sometimes when you, you can uh, watch people and you think, do you know what? I'm bored. Maybe, maybe me <laughs> doing this. But yeah, but you know, Karen's really good. I like, I like the way she um, comes across. Yes. She's got some lovely dogs. You've got three dogs, haven't you? Three staffies. Yeah, is that right? Or was it four? I'm going to open my drinks. I'm blimmin' thirsty. I'm going to show you over there now, okay? I'm going to show that design. Oh my God, that's nice. Right, here we go. There we go. Still stitching. We're getting there. It doesn't look like we've done much, does it? I haven't counted. I don't. How many stitches are in it? They're all together. There's forty six thousand one hundred ninety three stitches. Okay, it's done two thousand twenty three thousand two hundred eighty ninety. Blah blah blah. Right, it's going up now. Twenty three thousand. It's done so far. So we've got another half. We're halfway there. We're we're through seven colours. Is that right? Seven of eleven. Eight, nine, ten, no, we're through seven stages of 11, so there we go. There it is. Um, Karen, you've just joined us, haven't you? So you weren't here last night, were you, were you Karen? Um, because it was way early for you, although there was somebody in Australia that did join my live last night. It was half past five in the morning, so a bit early. Um, but she joined the live and I basically did an unboxing. I don't know if you've heard of her, Karen. She's called Lauren Mormino and she makes bags. And I, I bought this from her and it came yesterday. So I did an unboxing. I love it. It's got the, get it right this time. I was calling this a frog last night. It's not a frog. It's a chameleon. Okay. Um, there's a name for it. Pascal. 
apparently. Here we go. It's lovely though. Look at that, that. Beautiful. Look at these. There. Look at these lovely. I love this colour. I absolutely love it. Really nice. Two of mine and one is my daughter's, but they are mum, dad and daughter. Oh, that's really cute. Nice. Mum, dad and daughter. So they remain a family. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, right. Now I'm going to... Do you know what? I think I'm going to leave the screwing in bits to after because I don't want to bore you too much with that. So we've done two. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do this harbour one. This is going to go in a bigger frame, okay? It's got a little bit of gold in it as well. Um, it's not my usual thing, this, okay? I could probably have done it a bit better, maybe. I don't know. But I usually work in acrylic and resin with things like this. Um, yes, there's a lot of detail in that bag, isn't there? Absolutely beautiful. It's just so professionally made. She's very clever. Um, if you don't know her, her name's Lauren Mormino. Okay, There's, I've done a video. Go back to the video and her website and her YouTube channel is there as well. Have a look and go follow her. Subscribe to her channel. Um, right, here we go. We've got these. The next side up. They always prov out. They provide these things with them but I don't like to use those because they stick too far out they're all right for screwing your holes in a bit more and let's get one of these ready uh, I need to get all my plugs wiring sorted down here because I've got one plug socket in here okay and off that one plug socket I have my embroidery machine going I have at, this is at the moment. I ha did have my phone plugged in to basically there's a an extension lead running from the plug socket around here, and in here I've got I think it's about three plugs plugged in. Yeah, I've got three plugs plugged in. Another extension lead which shouldn't be really doing, and that's going over to the machine over there. I got my lamp on over there, so people when we go over there we can see. So the ring light's on as well. I've got my mobile phone plugged in there, which is out at the minute because of space. And down here I've got, there was this lamp here. It's horrendous. It's just too much, too many wires going on. Dangerous. So I've got to get an electrician in, put in another, maybe another two plug sockets, but over this side of the room. Uh, and hopefully that will solve the problem. Because last night when I went to switch the plug off, the whole, everything blew in the whole house the trip switch went so it's obviously there's obviously a lot of uh, power going through I'm doing something wrong yeah, sort of try and take these out now breaking the glass Oh, that answers that. What's that? Hey, such detail in the bag. Hey, I'm loving your pictures. Are they going in an exhibition? Oh, geez. Hope you have a safety switch thingy. Oh, that answers that. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, yes, they are. They're going in a gallery um, window, okay, with a load of other bits and pieces of my art. Um, that It's going to be in there for a week. We all have a... There's so many makers in this shop, okay? They make, not it's not just art, there's all sorts there. There's pottery, there's uh, glass work, there is um, needlework, embroidery, there's all sorts. And each week we get an allocation where we can promote our own, you know, we have a window space for the whole week so that we can put all our stuff in and it can draw customers in and potentially, hopefully, buy your stuff. Um... I pay so much a month for my um, space in the shop anyway, all right, and uh, other, and I also pay a percentage as well, 
if I sell anything. Uh, I am in other galleries around Cornwall, and I also pay commission, you know, I pay a percentage as well. It ranges between the smallest being 20%, but then I have to pay rent, up to um, 50%. Hi, Andrea. Andrea, you should comment. It's good. It's good to comment. You know, feel free. I do recognise your name as well because you're on my um, YouTube group, aren't you? YouTube group. My Facebook group. Get it right, Kim. Aren't you? So I do recognise your name. Um, at the minute, we're, we are stitching out a thing over there, but it's taking a long time. So it's a lot of stitches. But there's a mark on that. That's not good. We've got like a little line going on through there. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't see it there, but some will notice that. So it's no good. And we'll see what colour to put behind this one. The blue looks a bit dark and dreary. Well, something a bit brighter. Uh, try a light blue. That looks a bit better. Um, oh, that looks a bit better. I think. A light blue, or we've got a grey. Something to perk the sea up a bit because it looks a little bit dull otherwise. No, don't like the grey. And then that's it, we've only got that and it's dark green. And the dark green's not going to be any good. Mind you. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Dark green. Yeah, the light blue. Yes. Yes, you're right there. Definitely. Yeah, I thought that. Something to brighten it up a bit because it does look a little bit... looks like a very dull, dreary day on, my, on that painting. <laughs> there we go. It's not one of my best, but it's the original, so we'll see. It might sell. Yeah. Yes, the light blue. No, the light blue. Right. Yes, the light blue. No, the light blue. Right. I'm going to do the light blue. So, right. Here we go. We need to pop these together. Sometimes you feel uh, it's like criminal, isn't it? When you're watching, I always I like watching people on YouTube. I like it, and the trouble is it becomes a bit of a... It can stop you from getting on, can't it? Right. I must admit, I do try to watch YouTube whilst I'm working as well, but then I'm also filming sometimes as well, so it's not always easy. Fran, hello. I had to step away, but now I am back. When do you think you'll film your sewing machine video? Um... No to the others. Yes to the light blue. Yep. All right, Karen. I got. I got it. Thank you. Um, Frank. Film my sewing machine video. Um, I don't know. I don't know. As soon as I get time, you'll see it come up. If I've got. If it. If it's up, it's up. Um. Frank wants me to show how to thread my standard sewing machine. Um. So I will do that, but also Karen, Karen Brazel, Brazel, she's uh, she does sewing as well. So maybe you know she might do it. How to thread your sewing machine tutorial? <laughs> that saved me doing that. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll have a look at doing it. Uh, make sure I get this right. It wouldn't take long to do it anyway. That don't look right to me. 
the mount was off, sorry. Right, I need to stick this mount down. They do shift. That was my trouble for a while. Too busy watching others and was putting off getting things done. I watch on my iPad now, video on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. It's like I've, I've told myself now to stop looking at my mobile phone in the mornings and things like that because although I limit it, I have done it actually this morning, but it gets too much. It's like I'll go to it later, I'll say, right, I'll do it just, I don't know, in a couple of hours. Just get on, do what I have to do. Then I'll look at it because otherwise you find you're looking at it. Then you're looking at it again. And it's just, it wastes so much time because um, something could come up, you know, you may need to reply to a comment or something. And before you know it, you've been on your phone for an hour. It's a whole hour wasted. Right. What's your sewing machine name and model number? Um, my sewing machine, hang on. Let me just do this in a minute. It's a Singer Patchwork. So there's only one Singer Patchwork. Okay. Um, I'm not sure of the model number. I'll have to have a look. That's my normal sewing machine. My industrial sewing machine is a um, Jack A5E. Um, right, hang on a minute. Let me get it to you. Let me get it. I'll get my... I want to do some diamond painting soon as well because I'm itching to do that, but I know it takes a long time to do. Um, so I've got to make sure I find the time to do it. I just like the idea of doing that. Right, hang on. Oh. Okay. It's my, it's my normal household sewing machine. It's quite heavy, mine. That one there, okay. Right, it is a... Singer Patchwork, that's all it's called. Uh, can't see no model number on it. But there is only one patch, one Singer Patchwork. And it's really easy to thread. Why? Have you got one? Have you, what have you got? Hey, I took your advice, though. I've been videoing a sewing doggy t-shirt tutorial. Yes, definitely do that, Karen, because... You know, people also like to watch um, how to do things as well. You know, that's if you're prepared to give away any secrets. You might, you know, you might have your own little secrets that you like to keep for yourself, which is all fair, you know. But if, you know, you want to show people how to make doggy T-shirts, um, there's always someone out there that wants to learn. And you might find that you can get more views as well. Because I always found that, when I first started doing YouTube, I did a lot of um, um, time lapses, just did it all fast with a bit of music and I didn't didn't explain things really. Um, and yes, people watch them, but when I started doing a tutorial instead and calling it a tutorial, people watched, more people watched. And also share it to the group as well, because then you get people watching as well. You know, people will find your YouTube video. OK, so always do that. You're welcome to do that any time. You know how to share, don't you? Do you know how to share your videos? So I know some people don't know. So if you don't, just say. Right. I've got to get this back in now. Oh, did it get in? Sometimes they don't go back in very well, but. And then you end up getting stuff underneath the picture. You have to take the whole flipping thing out again. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't mind showing things. I'll just keep my pattern to myself. Well, yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Keep your pattern to yourself. Is it your own pattern? Because besides, if it's, you know, if you're sharing, if you're doing a tutorial using other people's designs like embroidery designs then obviously you know you just you can tell them where you got it from if you want to but if you're doing someone's sewing pattern so say if for instance i did the necessary clutch wallet but i didn't really do a tutorial i just did 
a bit bits and pieces um you you never really give off the size dimensions and everything like that because otherwise that's not fair on the person is it that created the pattern you can give them the link to the pattern but there's only so much that you can tell people without giving away too much um of the design you can show them how you make it you know like that's that's all right but when it comes to sizes and you know how to cut your fabric and stuff like that that's something you don't tell people too much of that looks i'm really pleased with that i like it now it's in a frame i like it more i really like that that looks all right somebody will like that somebody will <laughs> um my usual let me go and find an old one i've got an old resin one that i did um that's not for sale uh if I can find it, which I can't. Where is it? Oh my god, I can't see. So I'm just trying to find a painting for you. Let's. I'm just trying to fight amongst all my frames here. Where's that one then? Oh, actually. No, I sold it. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I sold it. It's gone. <laughs> I forgot about that. I did sell it. Sorry. Um, I found something else down here while I've been looking. Oh, my God. Oh, are you kidding me? That don't look right. Oh, hang on. No. So I'll show you all in a minute. I was looking at this. I thought, no, it doesn't look right. But it's still got to do the black yet. I'm a panic then. Still got to do all the grids there. I was like, oh, that looks wrong. But it looks all right, doesn't it? <laughs> panic stations. Panic over. Oh, God, I thought for a minute there, like I said, I thought it had stitched it all wrong. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this. This is like a felting. It's called Shibori. Um, yeah see the reflection let me try and do it so that you're not looking into the light as well right. you see there we go there so i've got it angled it's this is made of silk uh and felt um you know what's it called not felt this was <gasps> what's going on over there something's just um Maybe something fell off the thing. I don't know. Oh, well. um, it's made of like a felt and a... Um, oh, it's called felt, but I can't think there's a name for it. Um, I used to do a little bit of that, but I got rid of it all. I sold all of it off. So see what I mean about me? I go through different things so much, but this is... It's not to everyone's cup of tea. Uh, and it's not that easy to do, to be honest. Um, so really, I think it's my own now. It's another pattern. However, I've modified and customised it to my own thoughts and ideas. So really, I think it's my own now. Yes, yes. There you go. So that's, that's you know, that's for you. You can't give, you can't tell people too much, can you? Um, but, you know, you can help them, show them how to make it, you know. I really like that. I'm really pleased with that. It's quite smart. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got now? Let's have a look. I'm going to do this floral one, but... Actually, I'm going to do one of the bumblebees, because that's just a print. I had these prints done. Okay, I've got the original. The original is over there. Okay, it's a big, big one. Um, and I've also had some cards made with this. Uh... They're here somewhere. There they are. Okay, so I've had some cards done as well. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd do some little A4 prints as well. See how they look. Oh, wow, well, that's different. I really wish I could draw. I'm going to have to rely on cheating digitally. <laughs> oh. Digital drawing's quite good, actually, isn't it? 
I like I like drawing on the iPad. On Procreate, I love it. I really like it. Now then. Did I put light blue in there? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. Did I? Did I use the right blue? I was looking at that blue there. I think I used the wrong blue, didn't I? I don't know. Oh, well. It looks all right. <laughs> oh, hi, um, Olu. All the way from Nigeria. Woo! It's nice to see you. Oh. Right. I am embroidering at the moment. It's a long-winded shirt. It's um, this design here. Okay. This was one I'd done ages ago. All right. It is the right one, the right blue. That's all right, then. So I'm stitching that out at the minute. It's a lot of stitches, so I'm waiting for it to uh, stitch out. I was watching you. It's the right blue. Right, good. Thank you. I'm going to use this nice light blue now for this bumblebee print. Um, great. Once I get all these bits and pieces done, I haven't got to worry about it. I've been... Oh, I'm so busy with everything. Honestly, you wouldn't believe. Well, you would. You all know what it's like. When you're trying to run a YouTube channel and you're trying to work and get everything else done and run a family, it is 24-4, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 7, isn't it? 24-7. Yeah. Hi. Olu says hi. Karen. Frank, I would love to see a sewing video using the Jack Industrial Sewing Machine. Yes? Okay. Well, I will tell you, I am not a professional. All right? What I know is just like, it's all from scratch. I'm learning. I'm not a professional. Oh, I don't like that. That's got a bend in it. Ugh. Look at that, look. Take that off again. Gotta be perfect. Looking pain. Right. I'm running out of white ones now. Got that one, but then I saw a line going through that. That's not good. I've got one left. Oh, really? Actually, I think I've got some whiter coloured ones somewhere. I could try those. Let me... Uh, where will they be? Where will they be? Hang on, just got to go and get some more things in there. Ah, here they are. Okay. <sighs> right. advertising <laughs> okay do the best I can I will <laughs> I will I did do a video of me oiling putting oil in it go back and have a look at that one it's quite funny actually did anyone watch that video that I did of me trying to oil my industrial jack sewing machine oh look at that it's, too, it's not wide enough is it I don't know if that looks nice. I don't know if I like that. Mm, might be alright. Does that look any good, do you think? Or do you think it's a bit too wide? I don't know if I like it. I'm running out of um, mounts. I need one for that. I could just do that as a print, I suppose. And just because I've got some large A3 size of these prints over there. Mind you, the colour's not. Got some other ones done. Hang on. Right. We've got these are ones I had done a little while ago. I haven't. I just haven't put them up for sale yet. That's the A3. Um, and then this one. 
Oh, the colour is okay. That's right. I thought it looked a little bit lighter. There we go. A4, so... Uh, yeah. I could just put them in. I wanted to see what one of these looks like, looks like a frame. But I don't... I don't go much on just the single mount. I don't know. What do you think? I need to drink now. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a nice drink. Your throat tends to dry out doing this. I've got that one as well. That's an original. And that is so easy to do. You won't believe that all that there is just a few, like, splotches of uh, coloured, different coloured watercolour. And then I drew the roses in. Just simple ink. Black ink. Yeah, it's all black ink. Didn't put any gold in that, surprisingly enough. I like to add a bit of gold usually, but yeah, there we go. That one. Hello, Corrine. Hi, how are you? We are embroidering a shirt at the minute and we are framing some art pictures. Uh, you can see it's a bit of a mess here. Um, I'm running out of these now. I need some more of the white coloured ones of these because these two here aren't no good. There's one there. So we've got what we've got here. I don't want to crease any of this up. That's all. Oh, what's that? That's got a mark on it. Ugh. We've got a rubber somewhere. Maybe I could rub that out. I don't think it's going to go. Look at it. See, it's just a pain. I've got a mark on that one, a little thing on that one, and a scratch on the other one. It's three short now. I'm wondering if anyone would notice that. It's not that noticeable, actually. I'm going to use this one for the bumblebee print. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, what was that flower print, Kim? I missed it. Um, that one there is that there. That's uh, an actual, that's an original. That's watercolour. Just a few splodges of watercolour just sloshed on the page and um, drawn over with ink. There we go. So simple to do. Just a bit of doodling. Um, I did a little bit of doodling the other day. Uh, is it? I don't know, it might be downstairs actually. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's downstairs. One of these books. Is it that one? No, it is downstairs. So easy to do. Right, let's do this. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Right, I'm going to frame this bee bumblebee print up now. And then I'm going to sign it. Uh. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, do this first. I wonder how the embroidery is getting on. Okay. This mount's quite thick. It's not like the others. So what time is it there now, Karen? So I'd like to learn the time differences and then I've got an idea of when I can go live and stuff. I know like yesterday it was 5.30 in the morning for you lot there, but it was like 9 o'clock at night here. So I probably could work it out myself. <clears throat> Love the handbag, yes. Did you see the video last night that I did unboxing it, Corinne? 10 20 pm. That's good time then. That's ideal. Corinne, did you see the video? It was uh, it's one of Lauren's, Lauren Mormino's bags that she made, and I bought it. And it arrived yesterday, so I did an unboxing um, and I did it live yesterday. It's on YouTube. Go back and check it out. It's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. So I'll put it up there look, for everyone to see. You missed it. Go back and have a look. It's there. Um, you know, you can skip through bits that you don't want to, you know, you don't have to watch the whole lot, do you? So then you can... So the unboxing is at the beginning. And Lauren was there as well. Although, I don't know if I can get the chat up. 
I looked for the chat and I couldn't get my chat up on my... Let me just check that a minute. Couldn't get the chat up on my uh, video. So whether or not I've done something to stop it from being shown, I must have done. But Lauren was there and, um, yeah, it was great. Really great. I was really pleased. Right, let's... I want to get this right. Putting it in the right place. Uh, I reckon about there. In there. Mm, okay. I'm going to take that first before I cut it. Probably should cut this really. It's be a bit neater then, wouldn't it? You don't know, some people go and change the frames, don't they? They don't want to go into the frame picture and then find it all untidy. Right, okay. Right. I've decided to sign it after. I do sign my prints. Uh, I'll frame it first, then I'll sign it, because then I can see where it's going to be seen. There we go, that was easy enough. There, that's really good. Pleased with that. And uh, let's have a look what pen to use and make sure they're working. I don't want anything too dark. Yeah, right. So there we go. Pretty, thank you. Then I've signed it down there. There we go. Usually I like to put a little heart. Um I think I will actually. Put a little heart there. There we go. Right. Now then, I did do a frame in my put the glass. Did I? Oh no, no, I haven't. Not yet. I need to take the glass out. Not the glass. Just a small one. Uh, it's getting a bit untidy again. Take my leaves out of here. Right. Where's my drink? I'll show you over here. Let's go and have a look at this in a minute. There you go. See what it's just nearly finished. How long have we been at this for? Hey Karen, how do you fancy um how do you fancy doing like a live together? You know? <laughs> you can come and join me on my live. We'll sort out a, a proper time and then you know people can find you easier then can't they I don't mind doing that if it helps we could think of something we could do do you know what do you know what I want to do actually Cameron I want to make um I was going to do a video doing it I don't know if you've done a video already um dog bandanas I bought some fabric uh, where was it? Let's have a look. Uh, probably won't be able to find it now. Where is it? I bought some fabric somewhere. Oh, there it is. I bought some of this. A bit like Radley stuff, isn't it? And I thought that would make lovely dog bandanas. So I wouldn't mind making some. I can use my sewing machine because I don't use it enough. I am going to do it. That's why I bought, it, bought this. Um... Maybe, you know, I could think of something like that to do. 
Oh, that sounds good. We can do that. Yeah, good. Do you know how to do a live together? Because basically what you could do with doing is downloading StreamYard. All right. Um, you don't have to pay for it. You only pay for it if you have like the updated version, like the proper version. Too easy. You can do bandanas in my sleep. <laughs> yeah, I know it's easy, but I've watched them. I've watched them being made um, in other different videos, but I haven't made one myself. So, okay, what would you like to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> what do you fancy? What do you fancy doing? Don't tell. Don't try and get me to make a, a dog coat because it will never happen. I won't be able to do it. I, I'm not very uh, good at all that. Um, but we could just have a mess around, couldn't we? Just have a little bit of a get together. You know, we don't have to be doing anything in particular. You could be doing your own thing, and I could be doing my own thing, and we could just sort of like, you know, I think that'd be good fun. I do it with Olu from the Babe Mart Designs. Um, if you don't know Olu, Olu is the Babe Mart Designs. Go, go. Check her out and give her a little follow. Uh, where's my cough from? Um, and she does similar things. She's got a multi, uh, a single needle, sorry, and she does a lot of sublimation stuff like that. And she's very good. Um, and I could listen to her, you know, all day. She's, I like her. Right, let's get make sure we've got dusty marks on there. Sure thing. Love that idea. Yeah. Okay. I like all this. I like um, getting together with people. Right, let's go and check this. I'll go and bring it over, okay? Be quiet. Oh, yes, that's turned out great. <laughs> Can't fault this design, I tell you. Usually you think, you know, some of the um, the more detailed designs, you know, you could purchase off Etsy and they either be too dense or they ruck up your you know your fabric um and don't look that great but this these look good uh there we go look at that look. i'm gonna press it um the name the name looks a little bit mind you i've got a I've got to press it and take the stabilizer off, but it's not too bad. The the lorry design's perfect, absolutely perfect. I really like that. That's come out great. Yeah, like that. Um, I've got all my items to do sublimation, just haven't unboxed it. Well, do an unboxing and use that as a video as well, okay? Because they help um, build up your watch hours and stuff like that. Anything like that, just do it. Do an unboxing. Um, Get your watch hours up with things like that. I would. Anything and everything. <laughs> Let's cut some of this out. We have 12 people watching. Um, we've just about finished the embroidery part of things. I'm glad I've got this done now because I was a bit worried. Because I hadn't done this shirt for months. And you know what it's like. I was even worried I wouldn't be able to find it on my computer. but Because I'm not organised that well. I'm going to cut off as much as I can. I'm just going to try and do it as carefully as possible. So I don't cut into the shirt. I haven't got my heat press on at the minute because I've got stuff over there in the way and I don't want to melt. I don't want to put it on because I'll end up melting wires and stuff. So I won't be pressing it now. But I will cut all this off. Yeah. I can't find any polyester bodysuits. Um, when you say polyester bodysuits, do you mean what for babies? Do babies wear polyester though? Um, is it? I've. Do they? Am I being a bit thick now? Do babies wear polyester? 
is is that what you're on about? Baby baby body suits. Right. Love the truck, yeah. I've got quite a few of these these designs this woman's done. Um I've got like Spitfires, I've got Tomcats, I've got as in like the fighter jets and stuff like that. Um, but they are quite time consuming. That will look fine once it's pressed. All that should press out. OK, um, the name. I never normally have a problem with that font. It's just maybe it's just the. I was looking there. It looks a little bit. I'm probably being fussy. You probably can't see that. Once it's been ironed, that's gonna be that will be fine anyway. There's nothing wrong with that. There, yeah. there we go. Done. That one's done. Quite pleased with that. Um, I just thought you you're meant to sublimate on mainly polyester. Yes, you are. Yeah. Um, but I don't know so much. I I don't know. Maybe I'm just just not looking. I don't know many people that sublimate baby clothes. I don't know. Ah. Uh, to be honest with you, um, and I don't. Well, don't they watch what they put on baby's skin or something? I don't. I don't know. Right, so that's that there done. Um, these are here of polyester. This is I did this tie dye, TikTok tie dye thing. Um, I prefer the other one I did, but um, Ollie prefers this one. My friend Ollie, she likes this one. And as the saying goes, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> That's about right. Uh, I've got loads of different bits and pieces here. Though. There we go. I found that the other day. I've got to give it to the little girl that's for my niece. I haven't given it to her yet. I did it ages ago. Little teddy bear. So, yeah. Right, let's get back to this a minute. Let's make sure there's no dust on it. Um, okay, you watch, I'll put this down, I see, I see a bit of dust there now, oh, it's unbelievable, thank you, I think it looks great, that's good, right, what do you think, does anyone watch, um, does anyone... Has anyone been watching the Euros, the uh, football at all? <laughs> I know it doesn't apply to some of you, but, um, yeah. I don't see much around, well, even finding adult shirts, finding mainly 100% cotton around the place, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, where did I get mine? I've got polyester shirts here. Well, I have got diff two different kinds of polyester shirts. Um, I'm trying to think where I got the. Where are they? Oh, I've put them away. They haven't even got brand names on them. So, and I can't. I bought that many different clothes, like shirts from different places. That I can't be a hundred percent sure exactly where I bought them because I did buy them a long time ago. Um, but yeah, there there are places that do them. I think M M D P Supplies, mind you, that's in the U K. Does um polyester shirts because they do a lot of sublimation stuff as well all right that went in quite nice i'm getting hot again i think i'm getting uh i think i've got the menopause <laughs> i'm sure of it i am nearly 50 so I suppose it's about right. I keep getting hot. I like, oh, there we go. Right, I'll take that price tag off. I paid. That's what I paid for the frame. These are ones I picked off the shelf in the framers, but he did make a load up for me because he ran out because I took most of them off the shelf. But look, there we go. Looks all right, doesn't it? Make a nice picture for someone. Um, frame cost me £10. So the print cost me... How much did the print cost me? I'm trying to think, add it up. Um, probably about a pound, maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, so that's what, and then the mounts cost me three quid, or no, more than that actually, because these are 150 each. 
So probably looking at uh, maybe they were two pounds or two fifty. So say let's say five pounds for the mounts, pound for the print. That's six pounds. That's sixteen pounds already. That's cost me to make. So I've got to put a bit of a profit on it. So sixteen pounds. Soon adds up, doesn't it? So I think I'm gonna to have to. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. I'm selling my small originals. These things here. Where are they? Well, that's a large one there, isn't it? So I'm selling those. This one here, I'll probably sell it about £95. It's probably, I ought to sell it for more, really. I think I might sell it for more than that. It's hard to judge because um, I'm new to selling the watercolours. I don't, you know, I, like I said, I always do acrylic and resin usually. Uh, that's nice. I like that. It will sell, yeah. People do seem to like the, the bees. It's a shame that I can't sell them on my Facebook um, art. I could sell the prints on their own, but not with the glass frames, which is a shame because the glass frame really does make it. I might be able to sell them with the outer thing as well. Um, let's see, I have sold a couple on Facebook, just the art, big, the big art prints. Right, let's get let's get this one. I want to get this one framed because this one here, I've got the cards to. Um, I'm gonna have to go. Need to finish off editing. Yes, go on, you do that. Have a good time. Do you know what I do? I lay in bed and edit. edit. But then I use my I use my uh, iPad. <laughs> I do all my editing on my iPad. Yes. All right. Thanks for coming, Karen. Have a nice nice evening and a nice day tomorrow. If I don't see you, I'll speak to you soon. All right. And we'll catch up and we'll do something together. All right. Bye, Karen. Say bye to Karen, everyone. <laughs> all right. Let's have a look at this here. I'm debating what frame to use with this i've just done my if you've if you've just joined i've finished doing the embroidery i've just done a t-shirt a oh I quite like that actually <clears throat> quite like the dark blue it's great watching you catch up thank you thanks karen quite like the dark blue that makes it stand out or we could try the green that, that's too too pasty. I think we'll try that. We've got a, that's all the bigger ones. I've got a pink. I've got to watch all these. They get damaged quite easily. Bye. Bye, Karen. Don't like that. Isn't it nice and quiet now the machine's finished? <laughs> Got a purple there. Let's try purple. Let's try that. That looks quite nice. Goes with this purple here. What do you think? Um, I think I might try the purple. Andrea, are you still here? Finish the truck. I don't know what colour to put, put that in. Has anyone got any ideas? Okay, we've got, that's it, let's have a look, hang on, we've got a green, I don't like the greens, it's too pasty, right, let's just put them all neatly together because they'd get damaged otherwise, um, not too keen on the pink, it's going to have a white one over it, let's try and keep these all tidy. No. I think the dark blue. No. I think the dark blue. Well, we still have people watching. <laughs> Thank you for staying and sticking with it. Um, I don't know what colour to do this. I'm just a bit stuck. It's either that or the purple, I think. Those ones there aren't quite right. No, I like the purple actually. I'm going to go with the purple because there is that colour in with the print, with the painting itself. Irina, you're still watching. That's good. Good, good, good. 
Right, let's um this together. I will I won't be on for much longer. I will uh what time is it? One forty, fly me. What time did I start? Eleven forty five, twelve fly me, I've been on for nearly two hours. Oh, two hours. I've got some fabric. Oh yeah. I've got some fabric to cut. Um so I could either leave you leave it on and go and cut this fabric. Well, actually no I won't. So I need to use my phone to get the orders up. I've got a couple of orders to cut up, fabric-wise. I sort of know what it is anyway, actually. Uh, right. Yeah. Sometimes they don't look square. Right. It's getting it right. Let's take a couple bits. Hi. Oh, we have craftable things here. Um. I can never remember everybody's names. I am terrible. Uh, oh, what craftable things? What's your name again? I, I, I'm terrible with names because I watch so many people, and I've got names jumping around in my head everywhere. Um, I mainly stick to remembering the actual, like YouTube name. There we go. All right, so that looks pretty square, doesn't it? <clears throat> No worries, it's Patrice, that's it, Patrice. That's a lovely name, I like that name. Patrice, right, I'm going to try and remember that one, okay. Um, there. Are you subscribed to my channel, are you? I know you're You're subscribed to Olu, aren't you? Because I see you on Olu Washi um, on the Babemark Designs quite a bit. Um, because my... Um, I know that when I know that when you're I'm private, so when I subscribe to people's channels, they don't know I've subscribed because I'm private. But that's not because I don't want people knowing I've subscribed. It's because um, I think if you're private, then there's other benefits to it, isn't there? Like because all your watch is it your watched videos and stuff like that can come up and stuff. It's like it's not always best to have everything everything out there, is it? Yes, oh, yes. Um, Patrice, craftable things. If you don't know her, okay, um, she's got a YouTube channel as well, and she's doing really well, and she does all sorts of things. So go and check her out. Um, yeah, right. Get in there with this. I'm framing up art at the minute. I don't know if you've just joined or you've just decided to comment, but I'm framing up art. I have been embroidering. I've embroidered a, where is it? Where's that? I haven't even moved, so it can't be far. Oh, here it is. I've embroidered a shirt up for a little boy. Um, yeah, it needs pressing. So once it's pressed, that will look a lot better. But the designs come out really well. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, it took quite a while. It must have took over an hour to do that, to be honest with you, because I've been on for two hours now and I started it you know, soon after I went live. Um, so it's taken quite a while. <laughs> this is where I don't think it pays sometimes. Thank you. Um, it's uh, sometimes when you're charging for shirts and stuff, sometimes it's hard because I don't like charging too much. But the time it takes to do these things, the time you put into it, you know, it adds up. And you, you've got to be able to make a profit somewhere haven't you because otherwise you know what's the point um there there we go just making sure you can see my signature right that looks quite nice i quite like that with that um frame that color it's nice uh right i need to i'm going to cut that down just a little bit more now because where's my other ruler I want to be able to stick it onto the thing. I will check your channel out. Yeah, Irene is going to go and check you out. Yeah. We're a nice big family, aren't we? Right, okay. Um, I'm getting work ready for a gallery. Uh, it's got to be ready by tomorrow. So I'm in the middle of framing some stuff up. Usually I don't have to fart mess about with all this stuff sorry i was gonna say something else 
Usually I don't have to mess about with all this because I don't usually water do watercolours. I usually just do acrylic and resin. But um, now they want some watercolours, so I'm happy because they don't take they don't take so long to paint. They're so easy. Or I find them easy to do. Um, and I can get quite a few out at a time then. Especially the like the just the ones that like this, for instance. Hang on, let me show you. Um might not look much to some people, but that's like a landmark near where we live. And people buy this design this sort of thing. It's called the um the nearly there trees or the coming home trees. Uh if you look it up, you'll find lots of stuff on it. And um people like like those trees and they like to buy the paintings and all sorts with them you know the, people put them on mugs t-shirts um i've done a few resin pictures of them as well right so that's that now i want to get a frame i'm going to use one of the smaller ones i have all my frames made usually <laughs> yeah patrice says thank you Irina. um right Get in there. Oh, use my knife. I do a lot of my own framing, especially when with my uh, resin work, because I've noticed that if I take my resin work to be framed, more often than not, it ends up either getting scratched or there's marks on it, and You've just got to be so careful, haven't you, with resin. I don't know if any of you have worked with resin before. Okay. Just make sure there's no dust. What's that there? On that side. Yeah. Okay. I've got to put all the um, D rings on these yet. Okay. That's the one. check before I start doing it up that looks all right there we go always looks better once you frame things doesn't it hi Diane rubbing sleepy eyes good morning Kim and everyone on side first sip of coffee <laughs> of course everyone's waking up in the US now aren't they <laughs> everyone's waking up I expect Mary might be with us soon <laughs> uh, it is 10 to 2 in the afternoon here. So, there we go. Right. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Happy. So, I've done that one now. I've done that one there. I love the gold in this one. I hope you can see it. It's not my best, best, but someone will, someone will like it. Um, where's the others I've done? Where are you? Them. Oh, no, here they are. There they are over there. I've done that one there. For those of you who have just joined, my little fishes. There. Ten of two. Oh, goodness. Then it's nap time. Ten of two. Then it's nap time. Ten to two in the afternoon here. So I've done the fishes one and I've done one of the trees ones. This is another different type of, um, this is a different one I've done. So there we go. It's quite nice. I'm quite pleased with that as well. Um, I've got a load of cards. For those of you that did miss my live last night, I did an unboxing of a bag that I purchased from Laura Mulmino. Lovely. I love it. It's with the Pascal fabric. Um, but I did a load of cards and I've got all these cards here. Let me just get one of each and then I can show you right so I did all these up had all these done at the printers my local printers and um, they've got all my YouTube and everything on the back there um, and there we go I love this I put a green envelope with it as well there's that one there, that one there. that's an embroidery project that I did um, that's that one you've just seen another embroidery but there we go. So I was busy last night and this morning packaging up 
all these um, cards because they all had to be put in em with envelopes and sleeves, and they took forever. Three hundred of them. It's not masses, but took took long enough. Right, put those back over there. Okay, what else have I got to do now? Have I finished the framing up? I have. Uh, didn't I have another tree to do? I've done that one. I thought I had a tree. Oh, maybe not. Um, that one there, I'm not going to bother putting in a frame. I don't think. That's that's also an original as well. Uh, oh yeah, there's the tree there. Underneath all the prints. So I could frame that one. Um, just as well do that. Just as well. Got a mount for it, haven't I? Yeah, there. That one. Right. Now then, I quite like... I think the green will go well with that. No. Just check. There, there we go. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? The green, the dark green. What do you think? I put blue with the other one. Um, I've got another one over there, which I put that. I've got a bluish mount, which looked quite nice. But I think that green there looks good. It's yes, I like that. I like that. Got messy everywhere. My hair's a mess. Look at it. What a mess. <laughs> right. Okay. Put that there. Uh, right. So the mount, we'll do that first. There is a way of doing this. I could put some music on, couldn't I? There's, uh, there's an app you can use. Um, what it's called now that you can use while you're live it's royalty free music there's a couple of different apps you can use some of them they've got all got different rules so some of them you have to mention the said song that you're playing um stuff like that some of them you have to write the song down in the description things like that but some of it's like pretty simple there we go so if you ever want music just look up royalty free music that you can play while you're live uh, it doesn't cost anything either. Thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. Not quite embroidery, but I know some people want to see me doing my art and stuff as well. Um, I've got to resin some hearts. And it's quite nice out there now, the sun's shining. So... I was going to try and do it live, but whether or not I need to do it outside because it's with the UV resin, so I'll set it and let it dry outside. But uh, I don't know if my, if I can go live outside because my internet, I don't know. I think I need a bit of an extension on it. Right. A booster, whatever you call it. Although I'm, my internet's pretty good. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Don't cut it. Don't tear it. Got a couple of videos I need to edit as well. Haven't haven't got round to it. Do that. I did my little intro video as well. That's up on YouTube now. Quite pleased with that. Don't know if anyone's watched that. Right, that's done. And now I've got to get the frame. Now this frame here is not so thick as that one. Should I use that one? Yeah. Use this one. Uh, 
I think once I frame this up, I'll probably say goodbye. Um, and then go and find something a bit more interesting to show you and maybe video it instead. <laughs> and then I can cut and edit bits out. This is a nice way to just interact with people, I think. Uh, it feels more like you're actually talking to people because you are, aren't you? So... And then you can ask questions then. If you're not sure about something, you just need to ask. That's it. Right. Okay, that's right. I'm going to put a bit of tape there to keep that in place. This tape's good because it can be peeled away easily without damaging the artwork or anything. Uh, right, it's just normal um, framers tape. Okay. You like my intro, thank you. <laughs> Just managed to find little bits and pieces to put together. Put it into a video. Um, it's quite simple, really. It's nothing, nothing dramatic. Let's take that off there because I don't use those. They always add these things in here, but I don't like to use those because, like I say, it comes too far off the wall when you're sticking those in the back. I prefer the D-rings that I use, which are these here somewhere. Wherever they are. Did I put them away? Oh, I did. That was rather tidy of me, wasn't it? <laughs> I use these here, these little uh, D rings. Okay. And they get screwed in once. So that's on that side and a bit of um, string to go across. So I've got to do all that yet. I will get around to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy this. Let me just make sure that that's all right because I didn't check before I sealed it. Oh, what's that down there? See? Great. There's something down there, like a little bit of... I don't know what that is. It's a bit of fluff off the rope string. <gasps> now I've got to undo these again. It's not always good undoing these over and over because, obviously, the more you bend the metal, the weaker it gets. So I'll try to get it right the first time. Damn it. How is the garden coming along? Um, the garden, um, yeah, actually I was meant to be, my husband mowed the back lawn last night and I was meant to be doing the side and the front, well, I say front, it is more, yeah, it is the front today, but I haven't got round to it yet because I've been busy, <laughs> but the, um, the plant, the lobelia I planted, I don't know if you watched that video, I planted a load of lobelias all up, so I will, I'll, I'll get a bit of video in, in. I'll go out and do some later. Do that and show you. It's looking very... All the flowers are coming up. It's looking really nice out there. Everything's growing. Some stuff's overgrowing. So let me just check this again. Yeah, fine. Right. Okay. Ouch. Pinch with something. Let's take that off there. Okay. There we go. Done. That's that one done. Yeah. Originals. So hopefully these will sell quite well. I'm not going to be selling them for masses, so as long as I make a bit, of, a little bit of profit, then that's a good thing. Right, there we go. Yeah. Right. So that one done. So we have done quite a few now. Um, I am running out of this these white mounts here, so I'm going to have to three there that are no good because they've either got a mark on them or what, which is a pain really. No point, you can't turn them around that way because, well, still not the right. Right, so chuck them down there out of the way a minute. Um, we've got those two frames there that are spare. We have, I've got five more of these little ones over there, plus these two here. We've still got seven of them left. So if we get paint and do some more to keep it all stocked up. Right, that's that one. Right. There. Okay. Is that done? Look at the 
they're all meant to be the same size, but they look slightly different. Oh, I know why. What am I doing? Dopey mare. That's why. I'm getting hot again. Hi, Nessie. Everyone's waking up now, aren't they? Yeah? <laughs> Everyone's waking up. I've been on for two, two and a half hours, something like that. Um, been framing up work. Right, I've still got to use that. So I'm going to pop that there. Uh, chuck that back up there. I need those. I need them there. That can go back in there. I've just finished with that, I suppose. That's in. That would tidy up. I need my scissors. I'll leave them out a minute because I might have to cut. I've got to cut up some fabric orders, and I've got to get out and get post. Get to the post office before four o'clock. So I've got two hours to cut the fabric up. Get that shirt all packaged up. I was going to send something else out with it, but I, well, I think what I might do is send some stickers or something like that for the little boy. Um, yeah. Right. Where's that come from? Better not fold it. Okay. Go in that. Uh, don't need that for a minute. Don't really need that for a minute. Right, I think just about done for that. Yeah. Am I done? They're the dud ones, no good. Yeah. I've got to price all these up as well, I've got to do all that. So right, right there. And that one. Yeah. There we go. I've got a load more over there as well. Let's have a look. So we have. There we go. Got those there. Hang on. Just going to get some of the other ones here. Some more tree ones because they're popular. Another fish one. Slightly different to that. It's got more green in it. Another tree one. All the tree ones are different, but at least if they've got one, they can stock up then. If one sells, then they can stock up on the others. So there we go. There. So there's a few, and I've got a few big ones to go, but I'm not going to put that on the table. So there we go. They don't look too bad together, do they? They look quite cheap. I, I quite like I like the um, the mounts. I think it definitely helps bring them out a bit more. Definitely. There we go. So that's that. Um, hi, Corinne. Bye, Corinne. <laughs> Bye, Corinne. Thanks for joining. Ouch. And I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Okay. Right. So that's that all done. I've got cards to go in the shop as well. Um, they're all here. We've got all these here. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> we have a load of cards all packaged up. We're not packaged up, they're all in order. So I've got a there's a few there. I've got actually I've got a load I've got to send off. That's all over there. So all these here now can go to all the different shops as well. Uh yeah. So I have been quite busy the last couple of days with my art side of things. Um right. I think I'm gonna go. Uh I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you for watching. Um you know, it's always a pleasure to have everyone here. You know, I know we don't, I don't always do a lot, great deal, but sometimes it's nice just, just to chat and watch people work. Um, and I'm going to see you again soon. All right. So I'm going to say bye for now. Thanks for coming. And let me have a look. I'll rewatch. Sorry we're so late. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. I was quite early because I'm in the UK. I was up about half past 11. Well, we didn't get up at half past 11. I, um, I uh, started the live at half 11, something like that. So, right, I'm going to go. So bye for now. All right. Thanks for joining. See you soon.